What would be the setup costs for an independent Scotland? Uh, the report goes into all of the, the detail. Again, that will be aspects the uh, Patrick Dunleavy, a, a, an academic who looks in detail at these things, has informed uh, the report. The crucial thing... And How much would it be? Look, we, I'll give you that when we've debated, when we've analysed the Growth Commission recommendations would and come to... you accept the recommendation in the report? Look, it, the recommendation in the report is a good recommendation. We, we're How going much would it cost? We, we're going through a process and we will come to a conclusion of that process. The point I was going to make, which... I'd like to just, so you mentioned the report's recommendation, Patrick Dunleavy. How much would it cost to set I'm not up going to, departments required for independence? We, we haven't gone through the process of, an, of analysing the report and coming to a recommendation. The point Patrick Dunleavy... Do, do you agree with the figure in the report? Look, the, the report puts forward its recommendations. They are good recommendations. On that, as well as all of the other aspects, we're going to go through a process of analysing that and coming to conclusions. That's a you, normal democratic you way know of the doing it. In the um, I can't recall the exact figure in the report, but the it's four hundred and fifty million pounds. Yes, but five the point minutes. you just answered that. So we just get some figures going. How much look, does it cost <laughs> to set up a Scottish social security? I, I don't have all of these figures right at the tip of my fingers right now. But the point here is what we are trying to do with social security within the devolved context is separate out some aspects of social security while the DWP still retains 85% of control. 